We have left winter behind and moved very firmly into spring, which means that our yard was absolutely full of sweet violets. Viola odorata, also called English violets, common violets, garden violets, are one of my favorite parts of spring. Violet syrup is one of the botanical substances that I associate with spring. I have made cakes, which I flavored by soaking with the violet syrup. I have made violet lemonade to drink while we work in the spring garden. To make violet syrup, first of all, what you need are violets. You need, in particular, the blossom heads. One full cup of blossom heads, which you can measure before you pull the petals off, but in particular you do need an entire full cup of blossom heads. After you've collected one full cup of violet heads, then you need to strip off the petals and remove any part that is green. Once you have done so, you add one cup of boiling water and then you allow that mixture to sit for at least 24 hours in order to infuse that water. After the 24 hours have passed, you want to add one cup of sugar. Now, we're using castor sugar, which is super fine because it dissolves very quickly and evenly, but it isn't really necessary. You can use whatever sugar you have on hand. Although I wouldn't recommend, say, brown or dark brown or muscovado, as it will change the color and the flavor of what you're creating. Once you have added in one cup of the sugar. The mixture needs to be heated together in a double boiler, which you can do by simply putting the jar down into water and simmering the water on the stove until the sugar has dissolved. And that's all you need to do to create violet syrup. Magically, sweet violets, which is what we were using to make this syrup, are associated with healing and protection, love, spring, and when they pop up during spring, they're some of the first and most prevalent foods for pollinators, in particular for bees. So I think that they contain that energy of rebirth and renewal that comes in spring and really help connect us to this particular season. Medicinally, sweet violets are a wonderful demulcent, um, which means they soothe irritated mucous membranes. And I don't know about you, but when the pollen is everywhere, because we are in North Carolina right now in the middle of the great pollening, which is an entire season unto itself, um, a demulcent, which is soothing those irritated mucous membranes, is wonderful. 
Additionally, violets contain a saponin, which helps with respiratory ailments. So if you are prone to, um, say, bronchitis or uh, irritated respiratory tract during this great season for allergies, then violets are fantastic. Now, as a reminder, we're clergy and herbalists, not, you know, medicinal practitioners. Uh, we're not physicians, so please don't take that as medical advice. Um, but that is one of the reasons why I love violet syrup at this time of year. I also really just like getting out into the garden and feeling that connection when you have to harvest every single tiny little flower out of all of the clover and grass and spend time amongst the dandelions and the bees. So it's a great way to connect with your garden and you can turn it into one of the best cocktails. Just, ooh. So it's a classic cocktail. It's referred to as an aviation and they're made generally with creme de violet, which is an alcohol made from fermented violet syrup. However, following the Second Great War, um, creme de violet's recipe has often been accused of, of having slightly altered, and um, it apparently doesn't have quite as strong a violet flavor anymore. So you can make an aviation either substituting violet syrup for creme de violet, or um, maybe combining the two so you get a little bit of the stronger violet flavor. Now I am very, very spoiled by a very loving partner who made me an aviation using our, our violet syrup and it was the best damn aviation I have ever had in my life. And I've had several. I'm a fan of the classic cocktails. I tend to order things like Aviations and Manhattans at restaurants. I've had them at several very nice bars and none of them have had such a clear taste of the violets and wow. So the recipe for a violet aviation is two ounces of a good gin. We are using the Hendrix Midsummer Solstice Gin, um, which is incredibly herbal and floral, but you can use whatever you have. One quarter ounce maraschino liqueur. I really do recommend Luxardo for that. one quarter ounce violet syrup and one half ounce freshly squeezed lemon juice and a lemon peel for garnish. Now, if you want the color, that, that really delicate pink, to show really clearly, I wouldn't recommend adding the cherry. But if you just want the flavor, ooh, the, um, the real dark syrupy cherries, ooh, they are a fantastic garnish. 
Um, I was really lucky and Ian did both lemon and a cherry in mine and um, towards the bottom where the violet syrup had settled a little bit the violet syrup and the cherry kind of mingled flavors and I was having this at the same time as a clove cigarette and um, that flavor combination is just going to go down in my books as one of the best things I've ever tasted so I'll have to ask Ian to make me that again in the future So, anyway, um, if you make the violet syrup and you use it for medicinal purposes or for magical purposes or um, for some spring lemonade or for an amazing cake or cocktail, um, let us know. Let us know how it turned out. Let us know if you liked it and, um, you know, share, share the joy of incorporating that into your spring. And um, thank you for joining us while we celebrated ours. We hope that you all have a wonderful season and that you are safe and happy wherever you are. Happy spring. Ha, 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 ha.